It's not even a single disease. I mean, cancer right. itself, breast cancer alone, do you know there's over 300 different types of breast cancer now? There's over, there's 27 now genes connected wow. to the onset of breast cancer, but over 300 just breast cancer alone. Probably in another 10 years, there'll be another 300 sub types of breast cancer. And then if you've had breast cancer and five, 10 years later you have it again, there's more than a 50% chance that the phenotype has changed and it's actually different than what you originally had. And then I have a lot of people that have two types of cancer in them at, at the, the same, same time. time. Yeah. You know, so uh, cancer is not, and some people have breast cancer and they say, oh, I got rid of it and it's gone. It might have been this close to being called a benign tumor well, that's, anyway. That's all the new research now is, is yeah. it really cancer? Do we need mammograms? Do What's you, all the exactly. hysteria with all that? And that's why you need a thorough investigation to really assess that. And, and that's what we do, you know, right. and there are labs that can, can give us a lot of important information, a very simple thing like looking at the proliferative index, looking at something like the KI-67 expression. Simple test, all pathology can do it. Tumors that are about 14 to 15% lower in KI-67 often particularly in older people, don't benefit from chemotherapy. Wow. Tumors that are over 15%, and the higher the KI-67, the more proliferative it is, and often the more sensitive they're going to be to chemo, because the more the cells are in the resting phase, that was called the gap phase, and not metabolically active, they're not gonna be killed by chemotherapy. And so the first thing you need to know is that the more rapidly dividing cells are going to be more sensitive, generally, to cytotoxic therapy. And right. slower growing tumors are less sensitive to chemotherapy. And that's a general statement, but a good starting point to go on.